this is x is 4.4 third sum using cofactor of the element of second row you should find out the cofactor of the second row and evaluate i told you know first you put your symbol plus minus plus alternate sign minus plus minus plus minus plus start with plus and end with also plus okay alternate sign they are asking about the second row this is second row you can evolve it this is the cofactor of the second row alone so you can take it as minus 2 minus 2 into you can leave that row and column you can leave that corresponding row and column for the numbers you are having 3 8 and 2 3 3 8 2 3 you don't take the cofactor sign you can take the number alone you don't take the cofactor sign next you come on to the next one plus 0 plus 0 the same thing you can delete this row and column what are the numbers you are having 5 8 1 3 5 8 1 3 the same way c minus 1 plus into minus minus 1 into the same thing you can delete this row and column what are the numbers you are having 5 3 1 2 5 3 1 2 see here I have evaluate the cofactor of the second row alone c minus 2 I delete this row and column so remaining number 3 8 2 3 the same way I can proceeding for the plus 0 so I can leave that row and column what are the numbers you are having 5 8 1 3 the same thing for minus 1 also now you will do see it is a 2 by 2 minor you can do the cross multiplication 3 3 is a 9 minus 16 plus 0 into any number 0 you leave that minus 1 into 5 2 is a 10 minus 3 so minus 2 into minus 7 here minus 1 into 7 so what is the answer for this 14 minus 7 the answer is 7 this is the cofactor evaluate the cofactor of the second row this is x is 4.4 fourth sum using cofactor of elements of third column and evaluate so the previous sum you have seen that second row this is third column first you can put a sign as it is plus minus c plus minus plus minus plus minus plus you no need of this sign so you can see third column alone you can put a sign plus minus plus so we have to evaluate plus y z into plus y z into you can leave that row and column what is the remaining you can leave that row and column what is the remaining thing left out one y and one z one y one z then we move on to the next one minus is at x the same way we can proceed you can delete this row and column what is the number you having 1 x 1 is at the same thing for the third one plus x y into plus x y into the same thing you can delete this row and column remaining numbers you are having Remaining 2 by 2 minor 1x, 1y. C. So plus y z into do the cross multiplication z minus y. Z minus y. Minus z x into the same way you can do the cross multiplication z minus x. Plus x y into cross multiplication this term minus of this term y minus x now we can multiply the number inside see here y z into you can multiply the term y z into z the same thing y z into minus y so y z square minus 
y square z y z square minus y square z the same thing here you can multiply z x minus into plus minus z square x minus z square x minus into minus plus plus z x square the same way here x y square plus x y square plus into minus minus x square y see you can take the x square term first here also x square you can take the x square term first commonly how what is the remaining thing left out z minus y x square you can take it as commonly out what is the remaining thing z minus y next you can take the x term see here x is here here also x is here x plus x you can take it out what is the remaining number y square minus z square see this two number y z is common so i can take it as y z commonly out y z i can take it commonly out what is the remaining thing z minus y so x square into z minus y this is the formula for a square minus b square so you know the formula a plus b into a minus b plus x into y plus z into y minus z plus y z into z minus y see here also z minus y here also z minus y but here that is different y minus z so you can take it as a sign out minus sign out x square into z minus y x square into z minus so you can take it as minus out minus x into y plus z into z minus y plus y z into z minus y see now you can multiply that minus inside minus into plus minus z minus into minus plus y now z minus y is commonly for all the three terms you can take it out z minus y into what is the remaining term x square minus x into y plus z plus y z see here so z minus y x square i can multiply inside minus x minus x y minus x z plus y z so z minus y into here x is common so i can take it out what is the remaining thing x minus y here z is common so plus z i can take it out or minus is plus z you can take it out what is the remaining thing y minus x plus z i can take it out so what is the remaining thing y minus x see here z minus y into here x minus y here also should be x minus y only so x into x minus y i can take it minus sign outside i can take it minus outside so it become x minus y see here minus into plus minus x minus into minus plus y so x minus y is common z minus y into x minus y is common i can take it out what is the remaining thing left out x minus z so now you will write it in a proper way x minus y the next what is here is it y z minus y x minus z so x minus y minus i can take it out so it will become y minus z here also minus i will take it out it will become z minus x minus into minus become plus so the answer is x minus y y minus z and z minus x that's all